as mentioned in the video posted today morning i start off by looking at the uh, n2io.com display of uh, satellite pass but this time i have taken a different approach instead of just pointing to the uh, position of uh, maximum elevation what i did was i pointed in this direction that is uh, a little more to the north than uh, the usual usually i will point uh, in this direction that is uh, towards the point of maximum elevation but now today evening i have pointed northwards first and then when the satellite was going beyond that uh, position that is almost 90 degrees in this direction then i went out and rotated the antenna again towards another direction that is uh, towards the uh, low lowest position that is uh, downwards or rather eastwards in this direction i pointed and antenna that is uh, because i wanted to hear stations in this direction from the north as well as stations uh, from the uh, near the lois direction and you can see that uh, from the next coming recording that uh, i could really succeed in that here i am demonstrating the manual rotation of yagi from its base uh, on my terrace so that i can point it in whatever direction i want i have kept uh, my mobile phone with argentinian amsat website displayed there and you can see the compass needle and uh, doppler tracking in this uh, video uh, frequency initial frequency has been set uh, for tracking international space station you can hear the noise of the open squelch that is uh, squelch is kept open on uhf which is the downlink frequency of international space station and uh, audio has been muted on uh, vhf that is the uplink in between i have to touch the mobile phone uh, to prevent the screen going blank and you can see when the satellite is coming uh, the um, compass needle in the display will change and also so you just heard uh, v3 x-ray fox stud quebec the hissing noise disappears when the satellite signals are being received as the satellite is rotating spinning as well as uh, wobbling in space that is tumbling in space signals will not be received always as uh, ideally i need circularly polarized yagi my yagi is only linearly polarized it can only detect uh, one set of uh, waves but if satellite changes orientation then at that time i will lose the signal this is the beginning of the pass and the antenna is almost uh, pointed to the north and you can see that the compass needle is pointing northward it's a long wait you can see that my call did not reach space station otherwise i would have got a reply you can see that i am meanwhile changing the frequencies doppler changes are being made on my ic 2730 dial as well you may note that the downlink frequency is much higher than the normal frequency now it is coming down as the satellite is approaching you so we have so you heard bgk calling Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? 
You can see that uh, I am leaving calls in between, but my calls are not reaching there. That is the CW beacon of N. Beacon was NA1SS. I am still unsuccessful in reaching. At this point, satellite is almost uh, 90 degrees away from my antenna direction. So I just uh, went outside and uh, turned the antenna. By the time mobile phone had gone, uh, the display became dark. And uh, as the antenna being turned, you can uh, hear the signal soon. Now I am changing the mobile phone to active mode. Now satellite has uh, reached the new position of the antenna. And you can see, uh, hear the signals much better. And that is a region where there is clearance for my building. In initial position the clearance is not good. It was very near the water tank. The signal on VHF side is just artifact. On VHF side you can see signal occasionally. The signal, persistent signal on VHF is uh, just noise in my radio in the evening. Audio is muted on VHF side. We have occasionally seen two segment display on VHF side. So I could get just contacts V3 BGK and uh, uh, to APL. After some time you will hear a Yangi Indonesian station calling V3 BGK. You can see the combus needle far away from the Oh, that is a 9 mic 2 station and not a Yangi station. It is a Malaysian station that we heard. Just heard we to N X G. Nine mic two station called again. But now the pass is at low elevation. My calls are not reaching them. But I can still hear some stations, though it is not very clear. BGK has called 9 mic 2. So that is an excellent uh, way of demonstrating how I could copy uh, stations uh, right from North India, that is uh, V3 X-ray Foxtrot Quebec from Gujarat, up to uh, South India V2 November X-ray Golf far down than my position southward and uh, you heard V3 BGK throughout V2 
APL from Thrissur was also audible well and uh, I could hear 9 mic 2 station that is uh, Malaysian station also at least twice I have heard. So this new method of dual position of antenna in between is doing well for me. Only problem is that I cannot do it when it is raining and the terrace is slippery. Otherwise, uh, it takes only about 30 seconds uh, for me to go outside, turn the antenna to the new position and coming back to my working position. That is something which I have been trying for the past few days with good results. Result and as uh, vo 2 Mike Zulu Tango mentioned, a little bit of exercise for me as well.